Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here's today's question. I'm new to private practice and I'm struggling to find motivation to do the things. Marketing, staying up on research, readings, etc. Any tips for staying on schedule now that I'm outside of a college counseling center and not totally bogged down? By the way, I appreciate the work you do with Abundance. It helped me make the leap to private practice. Hey, thanks. Um, well, first, I want to thank Therapy Notes for sponsoring Ask Allison. They are the number one rated electronic health record system available today with live telephone support seven days a week. It's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And now, for all you prescribers out there, they have ePrescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, they make the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. Welcome to private practice. Um, let's talk about motivation first. We are in a really tough situation as far as motivation goes. The world has sucked the motivation out of most of us after years of hard, and it's not easy to tap back into it. Does that mean you cannot do stuff? Nope. But it can be something you stay aware of so that you can set realistic goals. Do you have a marketing plan? That's the first thing we need to address. If you don't have a plan with up to five marketing strategies and a clear to-do list for each of them, then I'm not surprised if motivation is in the toilet. Having to come up with a thing to do and doing the thing all at once is really daunting. So I'd recommend coming up with your strategies and a to-do list first. Um, the Abundance Party has a co course called Marketing Fundament Fundamentals that helps you choose your strategies and gives you your action steps for each of those strategies. Um, next, make sure it's in your schedule. Be really realistic about what you can accomplish. So if you don't work on your website copy, as you said you would, Tuesday at one o'clock, then that block gets moved to your day off. And by the end of the week, everything has to be done. So just make that a rule. It's motivating to do it in the midst of your work day, instead of having to do it on a day you wanted to relax or have some fun. Maybe you have your plan, but it's not inspiring you to do it. So first, tap into why you work with your clients. Like, why are you a therapist? Why are you in private practice? What led you here? Why does it matter that you work as a therapist to you or your clients or to the world? Getting really rooted in these almost always spurs me to action. If you're still not doing it, look at two important things. Are you having actual real life fun? Does it exist at all? So if your time off is spent like scrolling your phone, it's unlikely that you're gonna be inspired for anything. The other thing is to look at if you chose the right marketing strategies. If you hate writing and you chose blogging, choose something else. There are way too many options to settle for something you hate and thus won't do. Um, with regards to staying up on research, professional organizations related to your niche or modality, great CEs and consultation groups, these are all good ways to stay on top of that stuff. You don't have to do it all on your own. And these communities of trainers can give you what you need so that you don't have to scroll random journals. And there's an asterisk with all of this. If you have executive functioning issues, all of these things can be helpful. But using the executive functioning strategies that you've employed in the past, like say to get through grad school, should also be named and added to your list of how to get back on track. Today's free worksheet is a motivation checklist specific to private practice. I'll link to that for you. Um, we'd also love to have you in the Abundance Party. You can use promo code WINTER for 40% off your first month. If you have a question for Ask Allison, you can find me in my Instagram DMs. Um, I'd love to see your question there and answer them. We also have a form in Instagram that you can fill out for your Ask Allison questions. I hope that that was helpful and I hope you have a great day.